Federal prosecutors gathered in North Texas to call attention to the growing number of family violence cases, a problem they call a statewide crisis. Hello, everybody. I'm Heather Hayes. And I'm Steve Eager. Last year, 911 operators received more than 200,000 calls from domestic violence victims in Texas. 80,000 people, mostly women and children, took shelter with organizations like The Family Place. Fox 4 Sean Rabb is in the newsroom this evening with more on the story. Sean. Yeah, you know what? Not just numbers, people vulnerable and trapped in this cycle of violence made real today through one woman's story. My then husband's control, violence, and abuse were overwhelming, especially after the birth of our son, who was born with a serious birth defect, which my husband blamed me for. One night after a particular violent episode, my young son got involved, telling his father to stop hitting, to stop hitting me. I truly fear for my life and realize I had to escape. Aaliyah Miranda's moving testimony opened the discussion about love that has become ugly and violent. What happened in our state last year, hard to hear. In the last year, over 200,000 calls were made to law enforcement because home was not safe. In the last year, over 80,000 primarily women and children sought services at agencies like the Family Place because home was not safe. And in the last year, 205 Texans lost their lives at the hands of a person who claimed to love them. Most murders in these incidents are with guns. In North Texas, U.S. Attorney Leah Simonton won a victory at the Supreme Court this summer when the justices, by an 8-1 to one vote, upheld a federal law that prohibits people under domestic violence protective orders from having weapons. The case centered on Zaki Rahimi from Arlington, who argued the federal law infringed on his Second Amendment rights. That's a really big one, the one that prohibits people who have a protection order from having a gun. That's a big one. But we also have one that prohibits anyone with a misdemeanor uh, assault conviction from having a firearm. If that conviction is for domestic violence. The four U.S. attorneys covering Texas toured the family place before sharing ideas on how to arrest family violence. Breaking the chains of violence, not that easy. You'll hear people say, well, she should leave. Well, it's not that simple. This is a very complicated issue, but it is an issue that is so important to our community. We need to up the conversation. Aaliyah Miranda, victim, is now victor, and she wants others to know their story can end like hers. And they too can find hope and healing with the support of organizations like the Family Place. Well, the facts are grim, but organizers say progress is being made. First with the rescue, when people make the decision to get out. Then rehabilitation, not only of the victims, but where possible, the perpetrators. So they can learn love is expressed in many ways, but not in hitting, hurting, or worse.